Yeah, no, we're here to, uh, with Bursco Football Club to, uh, to promote the, the Northern Premier League Evo Stick uh, Football Academy, which is uh, going to be piloted from September 2014. As you can see behind me, we've got a, a group of about 22 young lads who are all sort of competing for a place in the, in the final 20. Um, so Bursco are, are you know, really promoting the programme and um, bringing a lots of community cohesion to, to Bursco Football Club and this sits really well with what they, they want to achieve. Well over the years I've been involved in football with youth and children and what we're looking to try and do here is obviously promote uh, with young people 16 to 18 to provide an education as well as obviously you know get the qualifications and gain the way forward within football. They're going to be playing in um, a, a, an FA sanctioned football league, competitive league, uh, and it's a, a football education programme where they, the, the boys are going to be studying a, a BTEC level three in sport, um, possibly, hopefully an extended diploma at the end of that, which will enable them to enough credits to, to move into university. Uh, so it is a new scheme. Um, you know, it's not a, a standalone. It's, a, it's we're going to be working with uh, around ten Evo Stick Premier League clubs who are all. Um, doing exactly the same thing as Bursco and they want to bring it, and bring it together and, and give the young boys a pathway in, uh, through the pyramid um, in, into semi-professional football. Yeah, yeah, I mean I've been involved with youth football for quite some time now. I was involved at Southport. We developed the youth system at Southport, brought it through. Um, I left Southport. We had quite a few players that progressed from the youth into the first team and then back into Football League. Uh, we've had internationals as well that's uh, gone on to play for, the, for their representative countries. Um, and then I decided to move, I was asked if I would move to Bershka Football Club, which I did do. I brought my team with me, Dave Ball and Frank Duffy. Uh, we've introduced young players all the way through the system. Well, um, I was born into football on, in Glasgow. <laughs> Um, my dad was a Celtic supporter. He came down from Glasgow as a, as a boy and supported Everton. And that was where my me, me football first started. Um, went into coaching uh, under nines to under 14s for about eight years. And then um, I got asked to go to Southport to um, coach the youth team there which I did for four years, and uh, we were quite successful at that level. Well, g give, give me experience, my experience in that, I think, with having the knowledge, and obviously being able to, you know, um, drive them forward, and obviously with my experience in that, and then, you know, being able for them to do that, see what I can give them, and go from there in that, because I think education is very important in this day and age. All, all, the, all the games are going to take place on, uh, at, the, at the stadiums, so again they're not going to be played on local park pitches which adds quite a, a, quite a bit of professionalism to the, the programme. And again, the, you, know, the, you, you look around here at um, Edgeo University, this is one of the, the options that, that Bursco can, can, prov can provide and offer to uh, cater for the educational side, although a lot of the work will be done on the pitch at, at Bursco and in the classrooms at what Bursco Football Club have, have got available. The facilities at Edgeo are, are as good as some professional teams and uh, uh, any, any footballer who could train on these conditions would uh, only benefit by it. Again, you know, the percentage of young boys who go on and be a professional footballer is very, very small. So, we, 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 you know, this is an educational based programme where the, the lads can go and, uh, be, you know, we're going to develop them as football coaches, develop them in, in nutrition, sports therapy, uh, masseurs, you know, and, and give them an all round education which will provide them an opportunity to, to move on to, to a university and to do a university course and get enough credits to, to go into different occupations. But at the same time, give them an opportunity and a window where where they can maybe advance in, in, in football initially at a semi-professional football club but again playing against lads of, in a competitive football league with, with you know who, who knows who's going to be watching the football matches and, and gives them an opportunity to maybe to progress and earn some uh, part-time income as well as uh, going to university and, and uh, progressing as a footballer.